uh, this theorem, the Arzela theorem, uh, convergence theorem, is really beautiful. Okay, uh, this is also a continuity after what we proved. I'm talking about the Luxembourg monotone convergence theorems as well as the monotone convergence theorems. Comes this one, okay? But we have to be very careful because in the assumptions of this theorem, what we have in fact is that the limit is Riemann integrable, okay? Because we may have a pointwise convergence, but the limit is not Riemann integrable, okay? So this is very very dangerous, okay? So in any case, so what we have here is that uh, what are the assumptions? Let's go back again. So we have this sequence. Okay, of functions defined on AB, and we assume that number one, that the FNs are uh, Riemann uh, are Riemann integrable two. We assume that the Fn converge to F pointwise. We assume that F is Riemann integrables. These are all strong uh, assumptions. And we assume that the sequence are bounded. So in other words, that Fn of x is less or equal than m for all n. Okay, so there exists that M, so they are uniformly bounded. Okay, uh, we do not assume that they are decreasing. Okay, we do not assume that the FNs are decreasing. So what's interesting is that the conclusion is still valid. So how do we do that? So we need to come back to something that will be either increasing or decreasing. For that, so we start by the following. So first we set FN bar of X to be absolute value of fn of x minus f of x. Okay, so what do I know now? So this sequence here, the sequence fn bar are positive. Okay, they are Riemann integrable. And uh, they converge pointwise to zero. Okay? Great. So now, what we are going to do, we are going to introduce a new sequence which will make it monotone. Huh? So the Hn are equal to the soup of uh, f bar k of x for k greater or equal than n. Okay, so remember, it's, it's like we are considering the limb soup of the FNs or the limb inf. Yeah? Though the sequence may not be increasing, decreasing, but if you consider the limb inf, you can generate a sequence which is below, okay, or above, and then it will be de either decreasing from above or increasing from below. And this is the idea behind the HN, okay? So it's just the limb soup, basically. Huh? So here, what do we have now? So the HN. What are the properties of the HN? So first, we have, obviously, HN of X is positive. Okay? Two, HN of X may not be Riemann integrable. So we lost it. Okay. Three. Uh, it's clear that H n plus one is less than H n because we are taking the soup over a smaller set. Okay, soup over a smaller set. So it is decreasing. Okay. Or the Hn of x converges pointwise to zero. Okay? So 
Now, the Luxembourg theorem tells us that the limit when n goes to infinity of the lower Riemann integrals of the n of x dx is equal to 0. Interesting, huh? So now, since fn bar of x is less than hn of x and fn's are positive, then we need we have the limit when n goes to infinity of the lower integral of fn bar of x dx is equal to zero. But the fn are Riemann integrables, fn bar are Riemann integrables, and therefore limit of the integral from a to b of fn bar of x dx is equal to zero. Next, we uh, have the property because of Riemann integrability. We have that since everything is integral, since since fn and f are Riemann integrable, so we can use the properties of the Riemann integrals that absolute value of fn minus f dx this is less or equal fn of x minus f of x dx which is equal to the integral of fn bar of x dx which tells us that the limit of a to b fn of x minus f of x dx is equal to 0 when n goes to infinity which implies that the limit of the integral of fn of x dx equal f of x dx this is very very powerful how we came all the way pieces like a puzzle pieces we start with Luxembourg Monotone Convergence Theorem, then Monotone Convergence Theorem, then R0's Theorem.